The entire universe is basically vibration. My name is Aaron Ryu. I make electronic psychedelic music. I'm Stefan Alexander. I'm a theoretical physicist, and my specialty is in astrophysics and the cosmology of the early universe. In the case of Here Comes Now, Stefan and I really bonded over the shared notion that the arts and the sciences aren't really so different. I think it's very important um, for me to work across disciplines. It's always been the case with the science that I do. And you know, working with Erin um, is just an, an extension of that. I've always been interested in the interconnectivity of the universe on an intuitive and spiritual level. And meeting someone like Stefan was amazing for me because I was able to ground some of my interests in a newfound scientific light. We decided to work on an album together that would be a science music crossover. And we called it Here Comes Now. If you look at some of the greatest developments in science and in music, you would see a lot of crosstalk across disciplines. And of course, my, my, my hero, Brian Eno, is a perfect example of that. Brian invited me to a dinner to meet some of his friends. And I got there, I met um, Diego Cortez and Otto Lindsay. Diego was the person that introduced Jean-Michel Basquiat to Andy Warhol. Um, and that has been a very influential part of the album as well, sort of the Afrofuturism of Basquiat's work has also inspired this album. We got to talking about some of the core principles of his work, which includes studying dark matter. Playing with this idea of, you know, visible rhythms and dark rhythms. And anti-gravity and vortexes. I thought it would be a really great idea to create sonic analogies for these. Some of the elements of music can be used to sort of explain some very interesting phenomena that you'd find to be quite surprising in the physical world. How are we going to take the idea of a vortex and bring it into a song? A vortex, as Stefan taught me, is a scientific phenomenon, of course, that occurs when two opposing forces meet and create a new force that was not originally there. That new force is self-perpetuating. So I used um, the drums as one one of those elements in Ornette's Vortex and Stefan's saxophone as a second that came together and when played simultaneously they would trigger an echo set. So we have a swirling panoramic echo that is created only when the two meet and that mirrors the scientific principle of Vortex. One of the most important aspects of making music for me is designing my sounds from scratch. Integrating the art and the science um, of manipulating waveforms to make sounds from scratch, this was something that, this was, a, again, this process of the art and the science coming together that Erin and I engaged in with the album. One of the things that Erin um, uh, invited me to do in the album is to do some spoken word. Stefan recited and explained the creation of the universe in spoken word. Why does the universe have a history? Why is it an evolving system like we are? As human beings, we seek meaning as well as a mechanism to understand the, the universe. 